Hey you guys, today I'm going to be going over how to access and manage your iPhone's clipboard history. The clipboard is a really handy feature um, to copy and paste text, photos, images, and links onto your iPhone. However, unlike Android, there's no way to actually go in and manage your clipboard history. Basically, when you copy and paste something, it's going to override all of your previous, all of the other media that you've copied. There are some solutions to this though, and we're going to go over them in this video. So as I said before, as soon as you copy something, the previous thing that you copied is going to be overwritten by this new copy. So a solution to this problem would be to use your notes app to paste anything that you're copying onto there. That way you can go through all of the media that you've copied and pasted and you sort of have a history here that you can go through. And if you wanted to go back and copy that link again, you have it there for you. So to copy a link, to copy a URL, you'll find it at the bottom here. You'll select it and then you're going to select copy. Then we're going to open up our notes app and select in the bottom right corner, the new note option here. Then you're going to press and hold the screen and it's going to bring up a, it's going to bring up a drop down menu with a few different options here. We have the paste option, which is how we're going to paste that uh, URL into our notes. You can also select that arrow on the very right and it's going to bring you the last two options here, which is to format or find selection, but we want to paste it. So now that we have this URL pasted into our notes, um, we can go back at any time and to select, we're just going to press and hold until this menu pops up and we can either press select or select all and it's going to select that entire uh, URL for us where we can then copy again and paste to our intended location. You can also configure automation in the shortcuts app so that it displays the contents of the keyboard whenever the app is running. So first we're gonna open up the shortcuts app on our phone by just searching it here. We'll select it. Then we're gonna tap gallery in the bottom right corner. Then at the top, we'll find the search bar here where we're going to search adjust clipboard. Um, it'll be the first one that pops up here and we're going to select that. Then we're gonna add the shortcut here so that now when you run the shortcuts app, it's gonna bring you to your clipboard here. So once your adjust clipboard has been added to your shortcuts here, you'll just select it and it's gonna open up your clipboard contents, which I've pasted this URL in here. Um, you can paste as many as you need or want. That way you can always go back into your clipboard here and find these links. Now, if you wanted to delete your clipboard's history, there's no official way to do that. Um, but for reasons such as if you copied a sensitive password or some sort of sensitive information that you didn't want in your clipboard's history, what you'll have to do is just override that copy. So what you're going to do is launch your notes app. In your keyboard, you're just going to do two spaces or as many as you want. And then you're going to select that space and cut and it's going to get rid of that previous copy that you had. And now your clipboard history has been um, deleted or at least replaced by this new um, copy. So in order to save your clipboard history, like I went over before, you just wanna use your notes app and as soon as you copy something and paste it in here, um, you only have to configure it once or copy it once and it's going to stay here so that you have a physical history of anything you've copied and pasted. That way you can go back in um, and copy, recopy any of these links or pieces of media that you want and paste them where you want them. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.